The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security warning more Antifa attacks are on the horizon, classifying their actions as domestic terrorist violence. More Democrats got to push them back. Meanwhile, this, as we learn, some of those radical activists may be teaching your kids. Take a look at this middle school teacher in action. Well, that is a teacher in there? Unbelievable. Julie Gunlock is a senior fellow at the Independent Women's Forum, and she joins us right now. Julie, if I were a parent of uh, a child that was taught by that teacher, I mean, I would be outraged. Yeah, I sent my three children off to school this morning, and I'm fairly confident. I, I feel good about the school that they go to. Uh, the, the parents in Berkeley should really be concerned about this. This is very disturbing video that's come out. She's now been charged with assault and with inciting a riot. Is this the, the type of person uh, we want alone in a classroom with children? Right. And to imagine the things that she's telling them about how government works, um, the importance of the First Amendment, this sure. should, this should all concern parents. Julie, it should concern parents, but after she was suspended from work, then the teachers union came out and they said, hey, you can't do that. Next thing you know, she's back at work in no time. Right. The teachers union has a habit of putting uh, teachers that, that might not be fulfilling their duties above children. Mm. And what I find so interesting is the double standard here. You know, where are the child safety advocates? Where are people who demand we have safe spaces on campus mm. and speech codes and that we not invite speakers who might hurt people's feelings? I mean, there is a great deal yeah. of hypocrisy going on here. Right. And, and, and we have video evidence that this woman but Julie, you know, clearly has a problem with anger management. Is it just this one, is it just this one uh, incident or are there others? Well, look, we've had a problem in this country with teachers uh, beginning uh, to bring in politics into the classroom, whether that's uh, conversations about climate change, conversations about the election. Even sex ed has become a little bit of a, a, a tough uh, area, especially for conservative p parents who think some subjects are best kept right. at home and, uh, uh, and kept within the family. Yeah. you got to ask questions to your kids when they come home. What are you studying? What do you go over? And find out where the opinions came from. All right. Absolutely. Julie Absolutely. Gunlock, thank you so much. Good to have you with us this morning. Thanks for having me.